Hello everyone, how are you? So today I am from the practical ground. I will explain some facts of physics practically and then we will also solve some numericals from NEET and Z specially. Today I will focus on the motion in a straight line. Some numericals, those numericals from motion in a straight line we will solve one by one. But before that, uh, let us try to understand some facts, some points of motion in a straight line. So let us try to understand this some facts about motion in a straight line. See, let us consider, let us consider this is our reference point. This is our the reference point. Then I'm and my initial point is also this one right my initial point is this one this is the re reference point then i am at the reference point right now right so my position with respect to the this reference point is zero right zero position is zero now i'll move in forward direction right in a straight line that is i'm changing my position only with respect to x coordinate only with respect to x coordinate i am changing my position i am moving towards east right i am moving towards east now let us see initially suppose to, right now time is 10 am 0 minute so i'll move in forward direction and let us see travel to a uh, 300 meter and will discuss the next point then i am starting from this reference point right? so step pehle my helmet laga deta and let us move in forward direction and let us see what is distance what is displacement what is speed and what is velocity so i have traveled nearly 400 meter from the reference point and time now it is 10 1 means one minute required to travel this 400 meter so initially i have started from the reference point zero meter and finally this point i covered 400 meter means from the origin 400 meter away initial point is zero initial position is zero final position is 400 meter so if the difference or the total path length then total path length is zero meter to 400 meter that is 400 meter distance traveled by me in one minute so my distance means the total path length and total path length covered by me is 400 meter if i go back to the same point then my total path length will be 400 plus 400 that is 800 meter right and if i travel with same speed that is again i will require one minute that is 800 meter in two minutes if i go back to my reference point understand now come to the displacement i'm moving towards east as i already told you in a straight line so from initial point to final point where right now i'm in the same direction towards east so i cover if i consider the final point to the initial point my displacement is also 400 meter and it is towards east right so what is displacement 400 meter if i consider it is along x axis then obviously it is denoted by your unit vector i cap right so this is the displacement now for in the next i'll discuss speed and velocity but before that let us solve one numericals from need and then we'll definitely discuss what is speed what is velocity hope samajh me aaya distance kya hai or displacement kya hai now i am showing you in numericals from aipmt 2008 
a particle moves in a straight line straight line with a constant acceleration if cha it changes its velocity from 10 meter per second to 20 meter per second while passing through a distance of 135 meter in t second the value of t is you have to find the value of t i repeat it again a particle what is written in the equation a particle moving along a straight line with constant acceleration that is there is no change in velocity or speed that is there is no change in magnitude there is no change in direction right now uh, it is moving its constant acceleration means its speed changes velocity changes from where constant acceleration from where 10 meter per second to 20 meter per second that is i have to consider the initial speed as 10 meter per second and final speed at 20 meter per second now cover 135 meter just like here i have covered 400 meter here the object covers 135 meter now i have to find the time right so let us try to find the time covered by it. so very interesting because you see physics kona practical ground se explain karne se practically agar physics ka samjha jaye so both acche lagte hain to main kya bol raha hu ki question mein ye diya tha aapko ki initial velocity kya tha 10 meter per second finally kitna hua 20 meter per second kitna distance travel kiya 135 meter correct to mujhe kya karna padega ये v दिया u दिया s दिया तुम कोई भी एक फार्मूला ले लो और इससे बाहर कर दो पहले बाहर कर लेते ए ए ए एक्सीलरेशन और बाद में इससे टाइम बाहर हो जाएगा तो जैसे कि मैं कोई भी फार्मूला यूज कर लेता हूं v is equal to u plus at नहीं v square minus u square is equal to twice s v square minus u square is equal to twice s इनमें से आपको मिल जाएगा v कितना है 20 स्क्वायर माइनस यू क्या है 10 स्क्वायर 20 ए क्या है रख दो एस क्या है 135 आ गया आपका 400 माइनस 100 300 राइट एंड 135 200 270 राइट टू आइज है देन 278 राइट देन जीरो जीरो कैंसल एंड uh, a is equal to 30 by 27 means uh, 10 by 9 right the value of a is 10 by 9 where a now we have to find time then to find time let us use v is equal to u plus a t right v what is v here v is 10 u kya hai 20 right let us place the value of a a is 10 by 9 into t correct so here from here 10 minus sorry sorry b is uh, 20 a is 10 right then it is 10 is equal to 10 by 9 t or t is equal to 9 second so your option is uh, whatever may be answer is T is equal to 9 seconds. So this is from an AIPMT 2000 means pehle NEET ko AIPMT kaha jata to, to 2008 mein aya tha, right? So anyway this is your uh, from AIPMT 2008 very simple. So main bar bar ye kehta hu ki jab bhi hum physics padhte to physics ko practical ke saath samajhna chahiye every term interesting se saath koi bhi subject ho usi subject mein sabse zyada important hota hai kya interest with interest with practical knowledge with practical feel ke saath koi sara books koi sara teacher aisa karte hai ki physics ko jaisa lagta hai physics koi dusra universe ka koi subject hai aisa nahi hai physics hamara nature related hai to sabhi cheez ek ek cheez you have to understand thoroughly right now we will discuss another numericals from NEET or uh, before that let us try to understand what is speed and what is velocity right so let us go Chalo. Yes. I came back to the same reference point same initial point right 
that is uh, i started from this initial point this reference point after one minute i reaches i reached to that point 400 meter away 400 meter then from that final point i reached to the same initial point again then what is the distance traveled by me 400 towards east and 400 towards west that is total distance traveled by me is 800 meter what is the time required to move from initial point to the final point towards east it is 1 meter and then again from that final point to the initial point towards west it is again 1 minute that is to cover 800 meter I require time 2 minute right then what is the distance traveled by me is 800 meter then what will be my speed speed will be 800 meter divided by 2 minute whatever may be you will calculate it that is the speed so speed is simply the distance traveled by me a change of position uh, my position with respect to time so here i have changed my position um, i uh, change in position not change in position total distance traveled by me so total distance traveled by me it is 800 meter time required is one, two minutes and so what will be the speed you will calculate it now come to velocity i have started from the initial point and again i reach to the same initial point so what will be the what is the displacement obviously displacement is zero because 400 meter towards east and again 400 meters towards west and so if we consider one is positive direction of x-axis then another is obviously negative direction of x-axis so the total is zero so the velocity yeah if you say that a uh, change in position yeah right then from initial point to reach at the same initial point so obviously my velocity is zero right velocity is zero only the speed is there right so i think you understand what is speed what is velocity what is displacement what is distance right now let us solve another numericals from NEET. okay so chalo, let us try to understand this numericals from NEET. Okay. A body is moving with a velocity of 30 meter per second towards east. After 10 seconds, its velocity becomes 40 meter per second towards north. The average acceleration of the body is 1 meter per second squared, 7 meter per second squared, 5 meter per second squared, root 7 meter per second square it is from ipmt 2011 so let us solve very simple thing a body is moving with 30 meter per second towards east and then 10 meter per se uh, after 10 second its velocity is 40 meter per second towards north then one is i repeat it again 30 meter per second towards east and 10 meter per second, uh, after 10 minutes, its velocity is 40 meter per second towards north. Okay, cholo. So, let us try to solve this numericals. See. So, the body is moving, right? The body is moving. If I solve it. So, the body is moving. If I consider first velocity, yeah, B1 is 30 meter per second right towards east let us give it i cap right consider east along x axis like that i'm giving this term right it is east it is north so 30 meter per second towards east now v2 what is v2 is 40 it should be along this way towards north then obviously jacket right 40 jacket obviously east and north and east angle is 90 degree right so what is the change in velocity initially it is 30 i kept towards east now 40 towards north so what is the change in velocity del v is 40 jacket minus 30 i kept so del v vector 
what is del v magnitude what is the magnitude of this del v vector change in velocity it is 40 square plus 30 square right minus 30 square is plus 30 obviously so 400 uh, it is 1600 plus 900 2500 means 50 meter per second right 50 meter per second is the change in velocity what is the change in time time is it is 10 second right after 10 second in question so what is the average acceleration acceleration is equal to change in velocity 50 divided by change in time is 10 then it is 5 meter per second square right so this is your another solution of the neat question so i think you understand it do so many numericals from NEET and if you face any difficulties at any point so surely surely take the help of my book or my channel okay so my one request is that every time every time whatever the phenomenon of physics whatever the phenomenon of physics try to understand at your own language at your own ear not to through the language of book, through the language of teacher. It is your own physics. So you have to understand with your own words, with your own explanation. Then only you'll understand the physics and easily you'll crack neat and Z. Okay, ask it's Bye bye everyone. Bye.